So my experience at the um, the um, convention was like different than the other um, people because since I came out of the industry, um, out of the porn industry, that I had old fans coming up to me and um, asking me questions. And the really um, awesome thing about that was they all knew I wasn't in the business. So because they all knew I was not in the business, that means that the word got out. Like, And if they knew I'm not in the business, then they probably know why. <laughs> so I thought that was really interesting. Um, so awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, so it gave me an opportunity, like instead of, like for me, um, because I was in the business, I'm used to talking to these types of guys, and um, it gave me an opportunity to share with them if they didn't exactly know why I was um, out of the business, I could, could share God with them, like, and share my story with them. And mm -hmm. um, But then there was a lot of people that knew, and there was this one guy in particular, and he was, um, he came up and he was, um, he said, Chrissy, you really helped change my life. I'm like, wow, that's kind of a <laughs> big thing to say. <laughs> But what happened is he went through a low point, and his mother, um, his mother ended up having to have a hysterectomy or something. And she had a large tumor inside of him, and I guess probably at that point, like he was, you know, looking for some kind of hope, and he found my story. So um, he wanted to take pictures with me, and he wanted to take me to take pictures on my camera of him with me. So I put him up on my Facebook, um, and he wanted to be out there. It was just really interesting. Um, and then the girls were um, all receptive to like taking the gift bags, and um, I think I had one person, she said, she's very, like, I'm not religious, I'm not this, I don't want that, da, da, da. I'm like, okay, <laughs> 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 thank you, anyway, <laughs> so only one person, um, and then the rest of them, it's just like, if you, it seems like if you go out there with that enthusiasm, you know, you're, because we are happy to give them the gifts, mm -hmm. and when they, they see that, it's like, they're just like, they're very, like, they want it, they're just like, oh, what's in here? And you're like, you have to look at it, we open it up, you know, and then they're like, oh my gosh, I love these earrings. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that part of it was really good, too, and um, I don't know, there's a whole thing, I mean, I had a, I had a really good time for this outreach, and I know for certain there were seeds that were planted, and mm -hmm. um, I also um, knew some of the girls. So that was interesting too, because mm -hmm. um, their reactions when they saw me was they were excited, and I was like, "Wow, they haven't forgot about me yet." <laughs> it's been five years, so awesome. I got to give people lots of hugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you mentioned um, that a lot of the men knew your story then. Mm -hmm. So how would they have known okay. your story? Like how how does your story how did your story get out there? My story started um, when I left the business and I um, started blogging about it. Um, because most of my fans came from um, from the internet, so I, I was like, I put out a letter to my fans saying that um, I'm sorry that you know, like this is where this is I'm quitting the business and this is why, and then apologizing to them for taking them away from things that um, made that um, you know, like their families. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. you, like some of them don't want a relationship with a woman because they're in love with fantasy. Mm -hmm. So I just apologize for, you know, taking from them, you mm -hmm. know. And um, so I put that out there, and um, and then I just blogged for five years, and mm -hmm. um, actually two years I took a break, but I privately blogged. So, um, mm -hmm. so they've read these, they've read all this stuff, <laughs> like also. <Wow. laughs> It's just very interesting, like, yeah, um, yeah, it was, a, it was, it was good, though, because I got to share so much. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Um, and now you have a voice. That's, yeah. people yeah. are <laughs> excited to read about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was, okay. what was the earlier part of the convention like when you first went in? Because you were, I don't know if it, it was. Well, the week before was, like, the worst week I've had in like months. Mm. Like a lot of things were going wrong, and um, I was just so stressed out and so tired. Um, just like I wanted to fall asleep, so I ended up drinking an energy drink, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink caffeine, so it like really helped. <laughs> 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 and so, um, so yeah, that helped me be more outgoing, and um, because that's what that's who I would have been if I wasn't 
so I'm tired from all the stress of the week. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was like, it was, in the beginning, um, I don't know, it just, it took a while for me to really get into, like, really get into it. Um, and they, and one thing I know, too, about, like, that experience is, like, it didn't bother me to look around and see things. Mm -hmm. But I did notice that for me, it was the things that I heard that bothered me mm -hmm. the most. Like mm -hmm. the, the comedian was in the back and he was like saying bad things about women. That bothered me mm -hmm. really bad. And then um, the, I don't know what they were doing, but they were doing, like girls were making like on the mic, making like noises, mm -hmm. sex noises. And like I had to like cover my ears. And that bothered me really bad. Mm -hmm. that's, nothing else bothered me. Um, and nothing else affected me. Just those things. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting.